last time I was up here, I was calling you to come help with Angel Tree, and I have an update on that, and then I'm also going to talk about something else. We'll switch in the middle, but uh, our church this year served 62 kids Angel Tree. Yes. Yes. Clap. Um, I was, last time I was up here, I was trying to get us to 50, and we got to 62, uh, which is really amazing. Being able to talk to all the caregivers, they were just like, who are you? What are you doing? I think some of them truly thought like I was like scam calling them um, and wouldn't answer for a lot of times. And we're like, wait, what? <laughs> You're just going to give us gifts? So um, I got an email from uh, Prison Fellowship, and they were like, "That every kid that you got a gift for is a kid who, I'm going to say it wrong, is a kid who won't feel forgotten at Christmas. So. I just thought that was really powerful um, and just amazing that we were able to do that for 62 kids in this area. So now I'm going to switch gears um, to kind of what our community group has been doing through my school. Pulling up. There we go. So first, I just want to kind of thank my community group for being so willing to do whatever I come to them and say that I think that the kids or the teachers need. Um, it's a really, really hard time to be a teacher, and uh, it's just hard. It's a really hard year, and I think that there's just been so many different ways that our group throughout the past year has been able to pour into our group, which has been really amazing. About, well, actually, right before COVID, we redid the whole teacher's lounge, which is kind of funny now because now we can't gather in there, but <laughs> we will one day. Um, and then last year, we were able to provide masks and sanitizer to every kid in the building when we were first coming back, as well as materials for teachers. And then um, at the very beginning of the year, we did a Chipotle lunch for teachers, and I just want to read one of the texts that I got from a teacher the next day. She said, I'm laying in bed still thinking about the fact that I, I can't believe your church got us Chipotle. That was so good and such a surprise. Make sure you let them know how grateful we are for all of their amazingness. And so, I mean, that was one of, I don't know, 20 emails I got probably just being like, wow, like a whole Chipotle burrito? Like, they... They care about us that much. Um, and it was just really powerful for, one, me being able to kind of share a little bit about the church. Um, and some people are, have been watching online. Hi, if you are. Um, and it's just been a great way for me to have conversations with people, but also just a way for teachers to not feel forgotten. Um, it's, like I said, it's been a really, really hard two years, and it doesn't really feel like it's getting any easier. So... I think like any opportunity that you have to pour into your any kind of teachers, students, communities um, is just a really great way to target the whole community because the teachers, happy teachers, are happy students. Um, and it really does make a big difference. So one, thank you to my community group for just kind of wrapping around my school um, because they really do feel that. And now my principal, she's the one who was like, hey, can you guys do like a lunch, do you think? Um, and the fact that she's just willing to come to me and she knows that our church is just willing to jump in is really great. And I know she is so appreciative. She wrote a really nice letter. So, yeah, just thank you to the well for supporting all of that. But also just I hope that you can take an opportunity, even like a really small gesture towards a teacher or students in your community would be an awesome way to pour out this Advent season.